If you're a man, okay, and you don't want a woman that's bigger, okay, that's fine. Don't think that you're... What is it? What is even this, like, line of logic? Men are not supposed to care about that? Why not? What are you talking about? The words that are emanating out of you are more of a problem than you being obese. I'm just gonna keep it a solid buck. Too many times I hear these incel, femcel words, dude. Look, I right, but I couldn't wife you up. What do you, what is that? Where is it? Where is that in the conversation? Who are the people you're talking to where this is even something that comes up at all? All right, let's talk about plus size and dating. Daniela, I'm new to the streets. I'm gonna get on these dating apps, but I'm so nervous because what if I get rejected because of my size? How do I avoid that? And how do I avoid the anxiousness of meeting somebody in person? You can't avoid getting rejected based off your size. That doesn't even, how are you gonna do that? If somebody doesn't wanna date you because you're fat, that's already going to be a deal breaker. So like, what do you want to try to convince them? Like, oh no, I'm not that fat. You, it's okay. All the weight you're seeing right now, it's actually not real. I'm wearing a fat suit. If they already are dissuaded by the idea of you being bigger, it's over. What do you mean? Like, how can you forget? What? You don't want to be with somebody that doesn't like you because of the way you look. That's like, that's like number one when it comes to dating. You don't, you should like the person enough to care about the physical appearance, right? Physical appearance is like paramount for most people in relationships. So if the person that you're dating doesn't like the way you look, leave, that's not, that's not the right person for you. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> real blunt here. You're gonna run into people who aren't gonna be attracted to you. You're no. gonna run into people who are gonna be assholes and it's not always gonna be about your weight actually. That's true, dude, but I don't, <laughs> This is, I feel like that advice alone should just be applied to everybody. There are going to be people that don't like the way that you look across the board, dude. Some people are just going to look at you and go, you look like a dried out hamster. I don't want to talk to you. Stop looking at me. You know, the amount of times I've hit up a girl and I've got like, we matched together, right? The only way I would be able to hit up this girl is if she matched with me and I go, Hey, what's going on? And then the response I'd get back was you thought you really thought you could message me you disgusting baboon looking french toaster stick how dare you think that you could ever ever in your entire existence of being on this earth ever talk to me in any format ever and i'm just looking like why would you like my profile then like what did you want to do this on purpose is this like your domino effect like you're just setting me up for failure so that way you could just diss me you know, <laughs> that shit was crazy to me. And that happens a lot. Um, well, maybe it happens more so to other people than, you know, it happened to me a few times. It's not something I would want to happen, preferably, but people do it, you know? And it, it, the point I'm making is it's okay. People are not gonna like you and that's all right because there's gonna be somebody that will like you. And if there are things about yourself that you can do to improve yourself in the dating market, I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Like for guys, I always tell them shave, which is crazy, right? I don't know why the fuck I have to even say this thing, but shave, shaving, get a haircut. Too many people, I feel like a lot of women appreciate a well-groomed man. And I knew this was a, I knew this was a thing because when you play, a, this is a game called Red Dead Redemption, right? And whenever you see men, play this game all you see is the main character is a giant beard okay he's like purple fucking hair the weirdest dressed ever but when girls play the game he's dapper he has nice groomed hair he's always shaven he always you know he's dressed nice that's what you got to do. You have to dress nice. You have to dress nice. You have to shave. You have to have a, a well-kept a well-kept appearance. I know a lot of people are looking at that and going David this is obvious. I know it's obvious, but a lot of guys don't know this, all right? Like, it turns out that women really do like it when you know how to take care of yourself. Who would have known? <laughs> You'll be surprised. But I will say this. If somebody swipes on you, it's most of the time because they do find you attractive. So, babe, you are hot, okay? Nine times out of ten. Mm -hmm. If somebody is swiping on you and they're doing it because you're hot, I'm going to let you know right now. That's a lie, especially if you're a woman, because the male dating strategy when it comes to dating apps is this. This is what you do all day. If this is your phone, you do this. This is it. You just swipe right. You don't even look. You don't even look. You're cooking noodles or something. You just go, oh man, wow. Those noodles are cooking really, really well. You're not looking, dude. You know how many times I've done that and by the end of the day, I got some matches and half of them were men? A lot, a lot of guys, okay? There's a lot of men that claim to be women that are not women, but are actually full-blown, full-meated up men that are trying to put themselves under the woman tag to try to convince you of your homosexuality when all you ever wanted to do was smell vagina. So, but the point I'm making is, 
if you are working under the impression that because you got a like or because somebody matched with you that they think you're hot, that's not true. That is not, no, nope, it is not true, especially on the guy side. Nope, uh-uh, not even gonna, not even a little bit, not even a little bit. Guys are willing to have sex with like anything, anything at all. Name it, name it, name it. Yes, they will have sex with that. What did you name? Like a Pop-Tart? Yep, yep, they would do it. Just open it up slightly. Open it up slightly. I mean, it depends on how big meated you are. I would need like the whole box. But it's not that it's not a flex to be like, oh, I got like 40 matches on Tinder. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine, dude. I got three in a year. All right, dude. It's it, we, we're working in different ball games. All right, dude. We're in different sports. But I would not think that you're hot shit because you got a whole bunch of matches from guys on dating apps. That doesn't really insignify anything. swipes on you it's most of the time because they do find you attractive so babe you are hot okay believe it now let's get into some tips about dating online things that have helped me and i'm in a relationship so things that help me secure the bag first and foremost here is my method for you to feel more comfortable and like you're not a catfish even though you're not a catfish okay Crazy. so first and foremost put a hot ass selfie mm, that's that's the basic reel him in you know a little bit of clickbait then i would recommend actually having pictures that p other people take of you selfies are too easy i know that girls take better selfies than guys half the time when guys take selfies they do this where they're taking a picture underneath their chin or maybe they take a picture i, I just don't understand why so many guys suck at maybe we don't have time maybe we don't know what we're doing i don't know i see a lot of when women take pictures they're taking like 80 they're taking 80 pictures and then maybe like half of them will be decent and then they'll narrow down to the last like 10 and then they'll go through those 10 and they'll go that's ugly that's ugly this one's okay Okay, this one's okay this one's the best like compare and contrast and like that's like an all-day thing for guys it's a one and done you take one photo and that's it and then you don't take another photo for like eight months and then on that eighth month you're only taking that picture because you need one for like a job resume or something like that because the one you took had your dick in it by accident because you don't know it's just how it happens sometimes when you're taking a picture of yourself it just so happens that your dick's always going to be in there like scooby-doo right I remember one time a guy actually sent me a dick pic I didn't ask for it. I wasn't, I'm not out here soliciting dick pics, but it just so happens I've gotten a few unsolicited dick pics in my life. But I remember one time I was on Instagram and it said photo, okay? And I'm like, oh, okay, photo. Like maybe it's like, uh, you know, a picture of some kind of thing going on. I don't know, maybe it's a cactus. Anyway, I clicked it and it was a guy and he was Scooby doing his dick. Like his dick was there, right? This is his dick. And then he took a picture, right? And he was behind it. He was poking his head out behind his dick, right? So he was like poking his head out with his dick out the side and it was uncomfortable to look at but I was kind of marveling at the fact that he was able to even take a picture like that to begin with right am I wrong on that like if you have the ability to take really really novelty dick pics I think you're doing something right the only problem was I'm not homosexual obviously and I'm not here to indulge in another man's genitalia but anyway I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about dude mm, that's that's the basic reel him in you know a little bit of clickbait then post a kind of casual pic nothing too seriously something like oh i got a personality from there body pic now body pic can be number two like casual you know and then you also want to put one that's like you really don't look your best and this is like a strategy for all plus size or not you put a selfie that's not your best because you know you're gonna look your best in person and then from there you could put a little like something you do you like to I like to bake, so I could put a little picture of me baking. Sure, I mean, that's fine too. I feel like you can eliminate two or three of those pictures if you just put them all in one. I feel like most of the pictures you have on your dating app should be somebody else taking them of you. Because one, it shows that you have the willingness to have somebody else in your life that has the ability to take a picture of you and that's cool, like, because a lot of people are looking at that going, oh my god, wow, this person is well organized in society. They have friends, family maybe, perhaps? Mm, what is that? A plant in the background of that photo. Wow. This just, this must mean this person is a good-hearted, responsible individual that can take care of plants. I am, I am bricked up. I am bricked up at the fact that you do not take plant, you do not take care of plants. It's just, you know, the things to consider, things to consider, dude. Um, also, I don't know if she's going to get to the description of dating apps. I'm going to let you guys know right now. Don't put too much in the description of your dating app. I don't want to read like eight paragraphs about all the shit that you enjoy and your favorite music on Spotify and how you think that, I don't know, dude, 
pr fucking Pretty Girls or uh, Mean Girls from 2002 was your favorite movie? Let me find that out myself, right? Let me, and this goes for guys and girls. I, I'm pretty sure guys or most guys are illiterate when it comes to dating profiles. Half the things they write on there are not even going to be things that you can read. But for women especially, why are you writing like, you know, oh, things I like, things I hate. Don't hit me up if you look like this. Don't do this. I don't fuck with you if you do this. Like, what is that? What are you doing, dude? Stop writing so much. Put it like one paragraph, okay? And just say, yeah, you know, I'm really cool. I like to, I like to communicate. I like talking to people. And if you're somebody that, if you're somebody there that I can talk to, that'd be cool too. I'm looking for something serious. Leave there, okay? That's it. That's it. Leave it real ambiguous. Leave it open ended. So that person looks at that and goes, huh? This person is a question mark. I want to hit them up and see what they're all about rather than reading four or five different fucking paragraphs that disqualify me because you don't like guys that were born in July or you don't like guys that like, I don't know, anime, dude. I remember I literally talked to a girl that said, I can't fuck with you if you watch anime. And I remember this one girl was like, if your car don't push to start, then I don't fuck with you. What the fuck are you talking about? You're, what? Your car don't push to start and you can't fuck with me? What kind of shit is that? And then on her, you know what it said on hers? Doesn't drive. Okay. All right, dude. That makes fucking total sense, man. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. You want, okay. I mean, you would think wheels enough would be, would be sufficient, but no, nope, not enough. And then fire ass selfie. Once again, you want to add at least two, three fire ass selfies. Come on now. Uh, I think maybe one at most. And then the rest should just be pictures people could take of you. But for you to feel comfortable in different settings, like on different days, because if it's just like, if it's somebody that just took like eight pictures of you, like in that one sitting and you just go, these all look good. I'm just going to upload them all to my dating profile. That looks weird. Okay. People are going to look at that like, oh, wow. She looks really good. Uh, oh, okay. So I guess she was at the grocery store. Yeah. She's wearing the same stuff. Oh, oh, okay. These are all the same. All right. This is all the same picture. Okay. I mean, she could put no fucking effort in. Does she not go outside? Like what it was just like, she just had to upload some pictures on her shit. So she just asked her mom to take pictures of it. Different days. Thing, one thing that always helped me was posting a body pic and then once we actually started talking it sucks that we have to do this just for our own sake of not going crazy but i would always send them pictures like of myself when we're like snapchatting not the ones always looking like this jesus bro i don't know how i feel about that what kind of pictures are you talking about i don't it depends, right? I don't think there should be much communication when you first start talking to somebody. Like if you hit somebody up and go, hey, do you want to do something with me sometime? And then they go, yeah, I want to do something with you sometime. You go, oh, awesome. Okay, let's do this on this date. And that person, you have some delegation there. Oh, I'm not free that date. Are you free this date? Oh yeah, I am free that date. Okay, cool. I don't think you should be hitting up that person until that date that day. So like if you it's a week away. Don't hit up that person till like that day or maybe the day before. So that way you can go, hey, are we still on for tomorrow? And you go, yeah, I'm still on for tomorrow. And then you go that same day, like, okay, I'm going to be here at that certain time, right? That way, the anticipation is building up and you're not like, what are you like Snapchatting back and forth? No, dude, don't fucking, what are you wasting your time for? Nope. Just wait for the date. And when the date comes, if you find yourself attracted to that individual and you guys have good chemistry, good communication skills, then you can maybe send each other pictures, I guess. I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be reciprocal. I guarantee you guys don't send each other the pictures. So if you're just sending him pictures, don't expect anything in return. He's not going to send you shit. Maybe he'll send you a picture of like his foot or something like that. But most guys don't, they're not going to take him pictures. So it's, don't expect anything back. But um, I would just wait. I would wait after the date because so many times I feel like people I've, I've, I've been in situations like this before where I was talking to the girl back and forth before we even met up. And I was like, oh, this person's so cool. This person has so much personality. We have so much communication together. And then we met up and I was like, ah, nah, dude, it ain't going to work. I don't like her. I don't like the way that she looks. I don't like the way she walks. I don't like any of this stuff. Her voice is really weird in person. I don't like the way she communicates. I don't like it. Nope. It's, this is two different peoples. Okay. With the person you meet in real life and the person that you're texting, okay? Now, there's going to be like a culmination of the two, but you're only seeing one side of that coin. Until you see that person IRL, dude, you have uh, you have no idea how they work, all right? So that's why I would say wait till the date. When you go through the date, wait till after and then see if you still like that person. Then, then you can do that stuff. But maybe like this. It's not hidden. I sure, dude. I don't know why this is like the fact that you have to look at this as like a prerequisite to... <laughs> It's like a Trojan horse, bro. Like you get in, but you have to make sure that they understand that they that you have a stomach. So you have to keep showing them pictures of your gut. Why don't you just lose the weight? If this is something that you have to do preemptively to convince the guy to, to know that you're fat, why not just lose the weight to begin with and then never have to worry about this 
ever again. Instead of sitting there taking pictures of your gut to ensure this guy knows that you're fat. Like, what are you doing, dude? This is so, so weird. I really only went on like two dates in my entire life, to be honest. Dude, what are you? Okay, look. Some people are a little bit more qualified to talk about dating than other people, right? I've been on probably in my life well over two dates. Well over two dates. I, at one point in my life, I was going in the summertime of like pre-COVID. I had to have gone on maybe four. Fucking, I don't know, 20 dates in that summertime, dude. And I was going, I wasn't having sex, but I went on dates. I was dating people. I was talking to people. I was communicating this and that. So I think I have a pretty good experience on dating in general. If you only went on two dates, dude, what experience are you drawing from, dude? You 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 had like two guys, man. But for the most part, any time that I've talked to a man or have and just because I haven't gone on a lot of dates doesn't mean I haven't talked to people. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Never has my body ever been an issue. And I kid you not. In two dates, your body has never been an issue, huh? In terms of dating apps, people are going to have an issue. Like, they're going to dismiss you right away from things that they, they don't like about you, right? Guys will automatically dismiss most women. I was watching Love is Blind the other day. Don't judge me, okay? Don't fucking judge me. I know it's terrible. I'm not watching it for my own free will, all right, dude? So I was watching this show, right? I like to make fun of it because it's terrible. And this guy... He was talking to this girl. She was great. She was great. She sounded amazing. She was Latina and whatever. That was like her whole personality or whatever the fuck, dude. It was terrible. I don't know why so many people that are like Latina on this show have to make being Latina their entire thing. You're more than just Latina, right? That's like nothing. I don't care that you're Latina. And like, I don't also, they'll go, oh yeah, I'm from America, but I'm Latina. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then they'll go, yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm a Latina. And then I'm just like, you've never even been to Mexico. Like you've never left the United States. Why are you talking like that? Nothing else that you've said you have that spice in and then suddenly you have that spice what why is that and it's not even consistent sometimes you'll go latina and then other times you'll go latina why are you doing that i don't like it's not I don't, whatever this girl wanted to tell this guy that she had a kid okay she had a child this girl was 28 and her, her kid was 10 years old okay and she was like i gotta tell him i gotta tell him i gotta tell him eventually they got into the room and they were like she was like listen i gotta tell you something I got a kid. I got a kid. And this guy was like, ooh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. But I knew instantly, as soon as I saw his face, he's not going to, he's not down for that. He's not trying to be with a girl with a kid. And that's okay. Because if that's not what you want, you shouldn't feel like you, you, you have to force yourself to be with this person because of this big issue and make no sense about it. Of course, it's a big issue, right? It is a big issue, especially if you don't want to have this problem or you don't want to have this. Now, look. I'm not saying that single mothers or, or mothers that have children are less valuable, but what I am saying is that you're going to have to deal with different people given the fact that you have a child, right? It's an obvious thing. Not many guys are going to be into taking care of another guy's child, and that's, that's what it is. Guys have it a little bit more easier because men are seen to be cooler with kids, right? I've met plenty of women that literally told me they're into dads and they like the responsibility of men. And here's the thing, right? Most of the time, it's like two different brackets. Why do men not want to date women that have kids? Because most of the time, they know what happened. Like, oh, why isn't the father in the family? Why isn't the father here? Uh, You know, are you like, did you have this kid by yourself? Why are you having this kid? Usually there's a whole bunch of negative things that happen with the kid, with the mom. But for the dad, if the kid, if the kid is in the dad's life, that means this guy, this guy is like really productive, right? Because like nine times out of 10, the dad is not even going to be in the kid's life. Or if he is, he's like two days out of the week or one day out of the week, right? So that means it's a pretty good indicator if this guy has the kid, then he's probably a good dad. You know what I'm talking about? Whereas like for women, it's obvious that the women, the mom is going to take care of the kid. It's like nine times out of 10, that's going to be the case. So I don't know. And then most men probably just want to be the center of attention already. So anyway. I one time had this conversation one time with this person that I was talking to in the past. And I brought up the fact of my body, like, you know, and we were in person. And I remember vividly him telling me, he was like, dude, cause we were just like pretty much friends. He was like, dude, that, that is not a man's problem. Like he could not give a less sh about your roles, your stretch marks, your scars, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't know what guy you're talking to. It's not superficial to not like those things, by the way. If you're a man, okay? and you don't want a woman that's bigger, okay, that's fine. Don't think that you're, what is it? What is even this like line of logic? Men are not supposed to care about that? Why not? What are you talking about? Am I not supposed to also care about the car that's missing an engine? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not saying that you're, like if you have stretch marks and things like that, I'm not saying that, but you shouldn't feel like you're less of a man because you do care about those things. 
That doesn't make any sense at all. It's called preferences. If you don't want to date a woman that is gutted up, that's fine. In the same sense of like, if you're a woman and you don't want to date a guy that's going to put his gut on your back when you guys have sex, then it's not, it's okay. Like, that's fine too. You shouldn't feel like I'm less of a woman or less of a man because you're not going to take on a, a big bellied woman or a big bellied man. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why does it have to do with, what, what does it have to do with anything about being a man? What? I hate when people do that shit nowadays. Where they go, so many people are hypersensitive hyper about what it is to be a man and what it is to be a woman. And it's like, I feel like we just got it so fucked up recently, dude. Because for one, we're in a different like time frame where things are more malleable than they've ever been. So men nowadays, it's not as simple as now is like, oh, I'm going to work a job and I'm going to work a nine to five and I'm going to come home. My mom, my, my, my wife is going to cook me meatloaf and I'm going to eat that fucking meatloaf and then she's going to make me coffee and go to sleep by eight o'clock. That's it, right? And you do that on repeat. Guys need more than just that, okay? So like the gender roles are still there, sure. Like if you want to play gender roles, that's fine. But guys have to do more than that nowadays. They have to have communication methods. They have to understand how the woman's emotions and feelings and things like that. And even to a very certain degree, understand your own emotions and feelings and have to uh, have the ability to delegate those things. It's not as simple anymore as just like just being a brick and never talking about anything at all ever. And then also thinking that for some reason, because you make a lot of money, somehow that's going to excuse all your poor other disgusting traits that you have. Whereas women, women never had to do anything. Women just had to exist and then they would get husbands because there was never any like responsibility put on women for the most part. Nowadays, there's tons of responsibility put on women, right? Women have to work. Women have to cook, clean, all this other stuff, right? That's all expected for women. Yet on the man's side, we're just expected to work. And women want more than just that. It's obvious. So um, in today's world, Fuck, fuck being a real man. Fuck being a real woman. Understand communication skills. See what the other person wants. It's a very good idea to have home building abilities. So like learning how to cook and clean, knowing how to wash yourself, knowing how to do the dishes, knowing how to clean your clothes. Things like that are super important that most people, including women, would appreciate. Because here's the thing. You making money is not even a deal breaker anymore. Women make money too. Women occupy 50% of the workforce. Why the fuck would you think that just bringing like, I don't know, your money to the table, your wallet's going to do anything at all? It's not. It's not, dude. You have to learn more skills, okay? Chubby arms. If anything, they love it, babe. And that's mm, Terrible advice, dude. Terrible advice. Don't say... Just saying like, oh, they'll love it is not how that fucking works. Oh, can we just leave it up to the individual? Don't, I wouldn't just say in general, men like big women. That, I would never say that. That is a crazy ass generalization. I disagree. I don't even know where you're drawing that from. It's not the same if I said women wear makeup because on average, women do wear makeup, right? And then if I said men don't wear makeup, on average, men are not wearing makeup. This is completely bullshit. That's exactly why they're interested in you. That's... It's not your fault that you feel like... I don't know about that. Like, we just got through saying, like, these guys are most of the time... A lot of dudes that are doing this strategy, dude, if they're getting, like, one or two matches a month, dude, they're happy to talk to anybody. I've met guys that have literally paid women just to talk to them. So, if you're... If you're... It's... In my opinion, in 2024, at the time of this making of this video, you have to vet a lot of dudes nowadays because so many guys are so incredibly antisocial. And I would say most of the time, in general... People are antisocial, but women are a little bit more social. Women are social or beings, right? And in the sense of like, what is it? Like women speak double the amount of words that men do usually. They're a little bit better in social, social situations, things like that. I met too many guys nowadays that work from home, spend their whole entire day in their house, and they don't go outside. They get all their food delivered. They never talk to anybody with the exception of the people that they talk to on Discord. They do that day in, day out for years. And then suddenly when they get a date with a the woman, they have no idea how to communicate. They're awkward as shit sit, sitting across the table from this woman. And all they know how to talk about is like their World of Warcraft career. It's terrible, bro. So in my opinion, if you're a woman, it is the, uh, you have to use your utmost due diligence to vet out a guy to see if this guy is like all there mentally or this guy is social enough for you. I mean, it might be okay for you to forgive some things like that. Like if you know this guy's a good heart, um, that's cool. That's awesome. Personally speaking, dude, I've met too many cringy dudes nowadays. And of course, I met a lot of cringy women, less than men though. And it's just, anyway, I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. It's not your fault that you feel this way. Society, it messed us up. But it's not your responsibility to hold that on forever. 
I think it's such a bad piece of advice to tell people that it's society that told you that this is the way things are and this and that. I think that to a certain degree, society does have values that most people will traditionally hold and it's up to us to keep enforcing them or not enforcing them. But when it comes to things like whether or not you think it's appropriate for you to date a fat person or not, I think we should leave that up to the individual. And I also think that if you're getting rejected on the basis of being fat, that in your response to that is, well, society is the reason why I'm getting rejected. It's the men that are, the men, it's, it's them being indoctrinated within the realm of society that tells them that fat, no. Being fat means that you're going to have a ton of problems that a lot of people that are, are going to be in relationships don't want to deal with. So like, if you want to go on a hike, I know that might sound extreme or like even something as simple as going on a walk. I know that for a lot of people, I like walking. If you are 120, 130, 140, 150, if you're an average size person, you're probably a high. I know I have a friend and he's like 250. He's a big man. He's a tall guy. He has no problems doing anything in life with the exception of walking. The amount of times we've been places and he'll go, so do you want to like catch an Uber? And I'm looking like it's like three blocks away. What do you mean catch an Uber? It's like down the street. What are you talking about? Yeah, bro, but it's kind of far. I don't usually like walking too much and you know, it kind of hurts my knees and this and that. This is a constant thing. And I always think he's approaching it from a different standpoint. He is literally a hundred pounds heavier than me. I couldn't even imagine the strain that's on his ankles. Now have that every single day of your life because that's the person that you're with. Constantly complaining, never having to have the ability to do what you want to do. And that may not be a big deal to a lot of people. That might not be a big deal in the sense of like, maybe you're not the type of person that likes to go on walks. But would you want to be with somebody that literally cannot do those things for extended periods of time because it is impossible for them? Or would it be better to at least have somebody that has the ability to do those things and move from that? No? Okay. I'm just like touching on that. I think it's really, really crazy to always sit there and go, it's society's fault. Nah, dude, sometimes people just don't want to be in relationships with people that can't walk or are going to have tons of health complications in the future. Live and have fun. Also, before I end this, the men who really do care. And also, I think that like just because you got a relationship from a guy that didn't care that you were fat, which by the way, is not even necessarily a good thing. If you're with somebody and you're in a relationship with that person and you're overweight, you're obese, and that person that you're with has no problem with that and they have completely never talked to you about it, that's a red flag. Now, don't get me wrong, anytime you ever go into a relationship, there's gonna be red flags, of course, but it's a especially large red flag, a massive BBC flag, if your person that you're with doesn't have any problem with you being obese at all. That is not a good thing. It's not something to brag about either. And have fun. Also, before I end this, the men who really do care or the people who really do care are not grown and you do not need to be associating your energy. That is a, f man, this woman is giving some absolutely blasphemous advice. The people that do care about your weight are not grown up. They're not adults. Are you serious, dude? Obviously, she's talking from the mentality wise. Here's the thing. I actually think you're more of an adult if you know what you want. If you actually understand these are your hard stops and this is not what you're going to accept. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think that people should have some give on certain things. Some people have unrealistic standards when it comes to dating. As in like things like, oh, if you have a push to start car, if you're six feet on over, or if your vagina doesn't smell like peaches, I can't fuck with you. These things are crazy, ridiculous, obviously, right? But if you're somebody that's going, I don't want to date somebody that's fat because I like running, I like walking, I like exercising, I like having a productive lifestyle. A fat person is not going to be able to reciprocate those things for me. Therefore, I don't think it's plausible for me to be dating that individual. And then you deem that person as not a grown up because they care about those things. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? That has got to be some of the most absolute haram statements I've heard all day today. That is a crazy ass thing to say. Somebody that wants somebody that is in shape or at least at an average weight they are not grown they're not grown up people they're not adults they don't have the mentality supported i think it's it might be i think this might be a little projecting i think she might be projecting a little bit people who really do care are not grown and you do not need to be associating your energy yeah, don't don't listen to this woman though if if you're if you're big okay and you're expecting people to date you because like it's such bad advice with that because you're above Guys will really be out here on these dating apps, acting like they're interested in you, asking you all the questions, asking you for more pictures and maybe a video of what you look like today. And you take the time to respond, you know, trying to get to know the person, 
that's that's a shit test right there if a guy's hitting you up going like oh yeah 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 you looking real good you looking real yo send me a picture real quick of what you look like today let me get the fit check fit check let me get the fit check oh yeah do a video twirl around real quick what they're actually doing because most guys don't give a fuck what they're actually doing is to (laughs) try to get an understanding of how fat you are so that's that's what it is okay i know it sounds (laughs) i know it's fucked up but it, that's what it is today and you take the time to respond you know try- what do you mean take the time to respond i mean may i grant it, it it is effort to take a picture of yourself sure but it's not like that big of a deal dude i know some girl i know some girls that just take thousands of pictures a day i get to know the person before y'all go out on a- and then also like i like just because a guy is asking you questions bro these are shit tests these, this is a guy's way or like in general people do this women do it guys do it they're just trying to get an understanding of who you are as a person before we meet up. And like, if if there's like something that's going to pull me off of you right now, I'm going to cut my losses and go to the next person because it might not be, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I go on a date with you? If I found out that you're 450. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. It ain't going to work. I'm going to go with somebody else. Right? That's probably what it is. I'm to respond, you know, trying to get to know the person before y'all go out on a date, all the things. I, I think that you should probably hold a lot of that stuff back though. I, like I said before, just hold it back. When you meet up that person, show, don't tell. I don't know why so many people feel like there needs to be exposition in, in, the, in the, the text trees, right? Like, oh, did, you, did I tell you that I graduated from this college in 2020-something? And did you also know that I, I work here and I drive this and this and that? Why are you telling me all of this in the text tree? Dude, let me, let's go out and then you can tell me, like, if I ask you in an organic way, show, don't tell. It's not a good thing to have somebody that's going to automatically tell you all the stuff about them in the first five minutes of you meeting them. As if, like, the terrible movies. Anytime you ever hear a terrible movie, okay, a lot of people don't do this analysis. If a movie starts and the movie goes, in the year 2000, a man was born and this and this, and guess what else happened and this happened and this happened. And they have to explain the entire movie in the first, like, three minutes. I don't want to watch the movie. It's garbage. Show me. Don't tell me. Why the fuck are you? Sh- it's a movie. It's a movie. Why is there so much exposition? Right? That's what it is. That's what you're doing. Show me. Let me ask you the question and then you respond instead of just going, oh, but did I tell you about that one time that I went to New Zealand and it was such a great time and I saw a guy having sex with a kangaroo? Oh, it was so awesome. It was so crazy. That's what, what are you doing? Stop. Let me ask you about it first. Right? Have you ever traveled? Then you tell me. Then they just don't respond out of nowhere. Yeah, they probably found out that you was like <laughs> double dust in Hot Pockets. Yeah, d- dusting the entire pack of Hot Pockets. He was like, nah, I'm I, I'm good. I, I, I think that's probably a little bit too much for me. Just no reply. Yeah. For days. And then may pop up maybe five or six days later. Like They got horny. That's what it was, dude. You know what happened? Oh, dude, that's tough as fuck, dude. Oh, that's tough. What that is is he saw something in you and he was like, damn, that's not something I like. Ugh, ooga booga, that's gross. And then he was like, I ain't fucking with this. And then like after four, five, six days of striking out and getting nothing, no replies, no responses, no women that show him any type of human being contact. He goes, well, I guess that woman that said that one thing about my the way my eyebrows look wasn't too bad. And she was a, you know, she was a Baskin Robbins looking girl. She was a little bit bubble bellied, but you know, probably not that bad, right? Probably not that, you know, whatever. I'll try again. That's what he's doing. He's just, because you're like the last resort. <laughs> That's tough. Like, hey, as if we just supposed to disregard the entire week. Did I've done that, dude. I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying that I've done that in my younger years, in my younger years. I would not do that now. If a girl tells me something, like there have been many times where I was in a conversation, a conversation with a girl and she said something and I was like, ah, yeah, no, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Whether it be, I have kids. I'm not really interested in dating women that have kids. If I had kids, maybe I'd feel different. But as it is right now, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Or I remember this one, man, so many times I've actually this happened to me where a girl would tell me they're still living with the ex-boyfriend. And I mean, sure, there could be some scenarios where that works, but it's just also a red flag for me to hear that as well too. Like, what are you talking about? Or I remember I was talking to this one girl. She was telling me that she would literally get recreationally beaten up by her ex-boyfriend all the time like she would be into it she would go over to his house say something to start a fight so he would beat her up and i guess they had like some kind of understanding or whatever like that i was like that's not good i don't want to do that like i mean it's cool that you're into things like that i mean i i I personally i'm not into domestic violence personally but if you were into getting beaten up that's cool again it's up to you let you know you have your own preferences if you don't want to beat somebody up that's okay she did not reply to anything not your girlfriend i'm not asking you to be here all the time but i just want to remind you 
that you're worth a response. You're worth a reply. It's just simple communication. It's just simple etiquette. You sure, but I think you're misunderstanding the nature of online dating. When you meet somebody online, are you expecting them to reply to everything that you say? And then also, what is the time frame? What if you're busy? What if you're doing something? What if you're working? What if you're doing laundry? What if you're doing anything at all? What if I can't reply that day? What if something happens? Like, what do you mean you're worth a reply? So, so should you just dismiss a guy that maybe had something going on that one day and that he couldn't do it that one time and he couldn't reply? Like, are you just gonna dismiss him because he didn't reply to you for a day or two days? No, that's fucking terrible advice. Given use for the context of the situation if a guy just ghosts you for like a week and gives no reason why he did it then obviously ditch him but if he's talking about oh, i was busy i had to stay overnight at work you know my kids puked on the fucking floor or some shit like that is bro what are you doing come on this shit happens right you are worth the response and a reply if at any point you feel like you have to beg for it dip out ain't no point again that's the really bad advice again like bro do you know how many times I've talked to a girl and I didn't get a reply for a day or two days and that girl was just really busy? Like maybe she was doing something that day. I don't hold people. Dude, being an adult, you have a lot of shit to do, okay? And even doing things like recreational stuff, like playing video games, go and play soccer, whatever the fuck you do on your off time is incredibly uh, uh, taxed already. Like a lot of people have a very hard time on the work split, like going to work, doing what they gotta do, and then getting home and then still finding time to enjoy their life in other ways besides like working and sleeping and then eating too. So I'm not gonna hold it against somebody that's gonna be like, oh, I couldn't talk, I had to do something, I had to play with my friends, or like I had to go play basketball, or I had to go out with my friends to eat and things like that. I'm not holding it against you. For one, I don't even know you, so I don't owe, you don't owe me anything. Like we're just talking at that point, right? Until it's a commitment, you don't owe me shit, right? And I feel like that for anybody, bro. I don't know why so many people feel like they're, in, you're going to miss out on so many people if you think like this and you're going to, you're not giving enough leeway on a lot of these people. They don't know you. Why the fuck would you expect them? All right. Even staying. Not needed. You're worth it. This one guy told me, um, you look like if I slapped you, you'd jiggle a little bit. Damn. Damn. Like, All right. And then this other guy told me, um, you're a whole meal, but I wouldn't wife you up or anything. And I'm like, okay. Who are you talking to? Who's saying that? What? That's got to be the most disrespectful shit I've ever heard in my life. Out of nowhere he says that? Like, yeah, you kind of looking all right, but I mean, I wouldn't really wife you up or whatever. You could suck me up a little bit, I guess. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can open your mouth real quick. Matter of fact, if your mouth, if you, the only reason your mouth should be open is if my meat wagon's in that shit. That's, I don't even know why you're talking right now, to be honest. Like, what are you even doing here? Like, what kind of disrespectful shit is that? Who, who is even coming into a conversation and then hitting you with, you look all right, but I couldn't wife you up. What do you, what is that? Where is that? Where is that in the conversation? Who are the people you're talking to where this is even something that comes up at all? <laughs> what the fuck? And then this other guy told me, um, you don't look that big, but even if you were, I'd probably still hit. Who are these guys? Who are you talking to? That is such an unbelievable, that who who are the guys you're talking to you're communicating with that are disrespecting you in this this particular type of way? i don't care if you're fat that is next level disrespect and i'm like cool and then cool. this other guy told me i love your curves can you eat food while sitting on my face yeah that's actually the that's that's probably the best one so far dude all the other ones were monstrously disrespectful this one is okay granted you probably shouldn't be sitting on other people's faces while you eat food i don't even know in what position would this even be appropriate you know, what kind of food is it? It's got to be something that's not too sloppy because if you're in front of me, right, you're sitting on my face that way and you're, I'm going to choke for one because you're big and then like the food is going to slop down on my face. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. it's going to, it's not going to, it's not going to feel good. Hi. So currently I, I think people got to get over it too. Like this is not even that bad to be honest, dude. I've had women literally tell me that I look like Sasquatch, uh, Sasquatch's testicles or scrotum. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it, you just roll the punches, dude. People are going to be derogatory. People are going to be disrespectful to you. Hi. So currently I am on Bumble and I am on Hinge. I kind of feel a different about online dating, but I also like I'm a student and a mom and I never leave my house. So it's really like the only way that I really get to meet people. So I'm going to show you what I have on my profile. Um, <laughs> and maybe you can, yeah, it'll help. Or you can just like judge mine and tell me what you think. So. Oh yeah, we're going to judge. We're going to judge OD. We're going to see what she's doing right and what she's doing wrong. 
These are my dating profiles. Okay, besties, this is my Hinge profile. Picture, unusual skill. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know right now, you gotta delete this. I don't know why the fuck you have this, this this unusual skill listed as an audio. Is That's cringe, all right, that's cringe. I'm not, no, just like put a line of text. This is what I have. I can memorize all the lyrics to a song after only listening to it once or twice, which would be a cool skill if I was able to sing. Yeah, well, that's, I know you can't do that. That's not something, no, you can't do that. You're not unique like that. There would be applications for you to have jobs in these particular roles, and I know that you can't do that, so I'm already doubting that shit. No. And then also, it's an audio. It's, what are you doing? I didn't even know this was even something that you could do. It's probably because I thought, if I saw it, I would have been like, that's cringe. No, don't do that. You're setting yourself up for failure. Stop. It is a pretty cool skill, and I can rap almost all the Eminem songs, so. Okay, well, anybody can rap the Eminem songs, dude. They're all, okay. Dating me, the most fun you've ever had. That's They're terrible, too. Uh, okay, but it's, uh, it's all right. true. I but she's 5'11", dude. Damn, that's tough. Hold on. I gotta go back. She's 5'11", she's 26. Damn, dude, 5'11 is kind of tough. She's gonna um, dismiss a lot of guys off that basis, man. So, dating me, the most fun you've ever had. Very true. I have, I'm a student, where I live. I have some face pictures, also some far away body pictures, and some little things about me. <sighs> and Harry Potter, dude. Unless, you're, man, dude, I don't know why so many. I met so many women that are in their 30s that love Harry Potter, and it's little concerning, because these will be the same women that shit on you for liking Star Wars, right? I remember the amount of time, dude, the amount of times I'd be like, oh yeah, my favorite Star Wars characters, Count Dooku, I love Jango Fett. The original, you know, like, I love the prequels. I've, I've had women go, that's, ew, that's giving me the ick. That's giving me the ick. And I'm like, you you have all of the Harry Potter movies on VHS. And you know every single cast member. And you can recite the lines exactly the way they were. You are, you are weird like me. You're weird just like me. Except I'm more mainstream. So I'm less weird. Because mine is more accepted than yours. Anyway. Also some pictures with friends. Cool, that's, that's always good. I like good. to give, like, a good... She has a weird, like, the way her face is oriented, it's kind of weird, man. She got, like, I'm not going to call her out on it, though. You know, image. Ketchup needs to be banned. Um, that's a fucking, that's a hot take, dude. Why was it, you know, why does it need to be banned, dude? What's wrong with ketchup? Sometimes you need ketchup just in case your food sucks. Just what I look like. Ketchup needs. Uh, yeah, all right, you're at the bar. To be banned, I will die on that. Damn, dude, you got to not take this. Woo, damn. Damn. Who's she? <laughs> Who's she? Damn, bro. That's not good. You got to get rid of this picture. You got, this is not helping you. They're going to hit you up and be like, hey, yo, who's your friend? Who that girl right there? I'm going to need to talk to her. Damn, man. That's, you setting yourself up for failure, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Come on. I don't got to say nothing about this, right? Come on. A hill. So this is my hinge profile. If you're a curvy girl that uses dating apps, listen up. You need to stop prefacing and putting in your bio, I'm plus size, I'm fat, just so you know, I'm curvy. Stop putting that in your bio. As a curvy woman, it's so hard already for men to treat you normally. Stop fucking putting that in your bio, I promise. You don't need to preface it. Put current pictures, that's all you need. I agree with this, actually. I think that too many people put themselves out there too wildly on things that don't even matter at all. Right? The amount of times, I, look, I'm only dating women, obviously. I'm not gay, even though a lot of people think I'm gay. But I don't have a problem with people thinking that I'm gay. I, so whatever to me. Right? But the amount of times I've looked at women's profiles, and then, like, I saw, like, a literal giant book. And I'm just, like, looking at that, like, dude, what is even, how am how important are you that you need to write all these things down so I can look at this and then when I meet you up on the date, I can refer to all this stuff. It's going to be a little creepy, right? Isn't it going to be a little bit creepy? Like, oh... Remember this one girl, she was like, I'm a Barbie and I'm going to be treated like a Barbie. So you better understand what is what. And, and then like on the second paragraph, it was like, bought my first car at 16 years old, $200,000 in the bank and like all her accomplishments. And I'm just looking like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, like, why are you posting this much shit? And then on the, the fourth paragraph, it was like, do's and do nots, right? Do be over six feet. Do not have a car before 2010. Do, you know, it, it just quit, kept going on and on. Do go to the gym. Do not have a big gut. And I'm looking like, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. This shit is so ridiculous. She had so much shit. And this was not even an anomaly. I met so many women that had things like that. 
Um, but not all the time, not like shitting on women outright guys. I don't think, I think guys are victims of the opposite end where they have almost nothing there. I had a guy friend that literally just put down BBC warrior or like Mandingo or whatever. And he had a lot of white women hit him up cause he was a black man. He sees you. We can all see what you look like just by photos. I think that that is true sometimes. A lot of times though, you'll come across somebody and you go, oh wow, this person looks really good. I know I have been catfished at least four times, man. I remember one time I looked at this girl. I should have knew, but this was when I first started dating. She had taken a picture like this, right? Uh. And that picture looked good. And I was scrolling through. I was like, oh man, dude, she looks really good. There was no body pictures. It was just face shots and it was angles too. So everybody looks good when you go like this, right? Everybody looks good when you do like that. But when I met her, dude, she, I remember I didn't even know it was her. Like she tapped me on the shoulder and I was like, yeah, she's like, it's me. And I was like, oh, oh, wow, really? Oh, okay. She was big, dude. She was big. And I didn't know. She didn't even put, she just put down that she was a little extra. It let, that was the title on the thing. It, was, it just said little extra. This girl was double double what she should have weighed easily and here's the thing i wouldn't have talked to you i wouldn't have approached you in this particular type of way if you did say that and you might be thinking david you're one-dimensional i don't think i'm one-dimensional i just don't want to date somebody that's obese okay i don't know if i can tell you anyway um this girl was way too big and then and it happened to me three other times dude and i don't know like if i wasn't learning every time i did it did happen to me i always like eliminated that as an option now so i'm like okay now she has to have to now she has to have a, a full body picture but then sometimes that full body picture will be from like three years ago. People gained some weight since COVID, dude. It's crazy, okay? You talk to that person and then that picture's from three years ago. You meet up and they're like 40 extra pounds. You're like, what the fuck is this? What happened to you? You know, that's just what it is, dude. People got to update their photos. There's no need to put, I'm fat, just so you know. Stop, stop. It's very important for a man to treat me as a normal woman as it is. So there's no reason for, to put that. I agree. I think it's real. I don't know how it is personally to be a woman, but I know I've talked to so many women and it's like, it's, it's like, oh man, it's probably like picking, uh, finding a needle in a haystack to actually understand if a guy really wants to be with you for you rather than what you look like. And I probably, I, it's probably a lot worse when you're a very, very pretty woman because it's probably like super hyper emphasized. Like I know some girls that are very attractive that question whether or not they even have a job because they're pretty or if they're really good at their job. And that's got to suck dick because ultimately you don't even know if these people are like for you, it's in general, men are just trying to have sex with you, right? This is why I always say like get commitment before you give out sex because sex is like the ultimate goal for most guys. So you should automatically be disqualifying a lot of dudes off that basis. Like if a guy hits you up and goes, hey, you know, do you have that like symbiote between your legs? Like you got that gooey gooey shit and you should probably automatically dismiss that guy. Like what the fuck is that? I know some girls that entertain that shit and I'm always like, that's why would you ever? That'd be like the equivalent of a guy sent me a dick pic and was like, you like that big shit? I'd be like, what? No. And I would just block him because I don't like big dick and I'm not gay. In the same way that you shouldn't be entertaining dudes and ask if your vagina is moisturized. This is not something you should do. You should probably be entertaining men that are... I don't know, um, probably a little bit more subtle than that. I mean, you should always be under the expectation that this guy probably wants to have sex with you, but that's obvious. That's obvious, obviously. Um, I, I remember I was listening to a guy the other day and he was like, listen, if a guy, if a guy hits you up, ladies, he wants to have sex with you. He wants to fuck. And I'm just thinking, yeah, I know. Obvious fucking Lee. What do you like? You think you get like an Amish man's going to hit you up and be like, oh, I want to, I want to devote my entire life to you. And I want to build you a house. And I want to have a big bushy beard with no mustache. And I want you to introduce you to my family, my four mothers and my two dads. It's going to be awesome. No, that's never going to happen. Of course he wants to have sex with you. Always be expecting that. But you should always be bringing something else to the table further than the, than the, the penis. Anybody has penis. Everybody has a vagina. You should have more to offer to somebody than just those things. There's no reason to warn a man, oh, I'm so big. No, stop. If you do feel like you have to do that, then you should probably be changing your pictures, dude. Stop it. Current photo, all you need. Good lighting, have your bestie like take your photo, hairs. put it up, that's it. Let it speak for itself. So I'm supposed to have a first date today. We're meeting for drinks at like eight. It's noon right now. Haven't heard from him yet. So at noon, eight, it's noon right now. So eight o'clock in the morning, you're having drinks at noon at 12. I did. I, that's all right. I haven't heard from him yet. So 
she Let's said noon, noon right, right now. They we're meeting for drinks at like eight. It's noon right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I mixed them up. Okay, eight p.m. Haven't heard from them yet. So let's chronicle how this day is gonna go. Yeah, that's concerning. Uh, you should hit me up beforehand just to ensure that we're going out that day. <laughs> it's one thirty. Still haven't heard from him, but. If I am going, I think this is the outfit. It's a terrible outfit, dude. It's a bad outfit, man. I'm going to keep it a buck. This is not a good outfit. It's not. Just keep it casual. What is this, bro? What, are you going to church? What is this, like, your grunge look from the 90s on the bottom, but then you're going to church on the top? What is? What are you doing? No. That I'm going to wear. It's just, like, a casual... This is casual? What? Just because you put it on in two seconds doesn't mean it's casual. Bar, so... I have, like, a little sandal. Dude, none of this is... None of it makes sense. It's all completely random. It's like when you... It's like if you were creating your sim, and you just clicked randomize. I've been loving this shrug and this top. They're both from Cider. Pants are from Levi's. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. So, I was weak, and I texted him... Um, Why were you weak though? Why is that weak? I mean, he should have hit you up, granted, but it's a mutual thing. You guys are both meeting up. What do you mean you were weak? Yes, this is something you should have done. About three, and I was like, still on for tonight? And he texts me back. Nah, nah, nah. Who, who, who this is? Who this is? Oh, you that one bitch, right? Yeah, nah, nah. I don't fuck with that. Nah, never mind. Nah. Pretty quickly. Um, I was like, yes, was just about to text you. Eight still works for me if it works for you. I was like, yeah, sounds good. So the real testament to see is if he actually shows up. Did you, I'm sorry, dude. Can I just, did you put on that outfit only to take it back off? Why would you, why? Why would you do this extra shit? I don't know how many times, bro, I've been in situations like this where a girl was like, hey, I got to pick up my outfit for tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. And they go, let me try on 19 things so you can tell me which one the best one is. What are you talking about? No, I'm not just, just give me like four options and I'll just pick like the best one there. No, because you're not going to, that's not how that works. We need to figure out because tomorrow it's going to be different. So we need to like really assess this right now. I'm going to try this on. We'll do different combinations and you can tell me, I'm just thinking like, what are you, that's going to take like eight hours. I'm not doing that. That's crazy. I don't have the attention span to do what I'm doing right now and then have you go through like eight different outfits in like 40 minutes and then have me ask all these outfits, rate them, rate it, rate it. What does this look like? What do I look like here? What am I giving here? What does it give? How do I look here? Do you think these look good? They don't look good. Why don't you like it? Tell me why you don't like it. Why don't you like it? You're being ridiculous, David. Stop. Tell me why you don't like it. No, seriously, bro. Tell me why you don't like it. What are you talking about? I'm not trying to sit here for 45 minutes discussing that delegating why these pants don't look as good as the other pants. I don't fucking care. I don't know. None of this shit applies to me. I wear the same clothes every single fucking day. I have one pair of pants that I wear. I don't even understand why you have so many shoes. What are you doing? There's like five different pairs of Crocs. I understand nothing. Why are you putting on all these clothes just to take them back off, to put them back on two hours later? What are we doing? Why? Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Why? Why couldn't you just, all right, I don't know. Maybe it's something about me. Maybe it's something about me. I don't know. So I decided to switch up the pants. Much better. I'm going I'm to give you the buck. The, much better. And I wore black pants. I still don't like the top though. That top is weird. Instead. You guys, it's 8 o'clock and I'm just about to pull up and I haven't heard anything from him. Like, I'm on my way. I'm almost there. Like, nothing. I am not feeling very good about this right now. Like, I'm really, I don't have a lot of faith next morning Damn. so the date did happen oh shit um as soon as i parked my car he messaged me saying that he was there if you've heard about like my last few dating experiences um they have been in the trenches the last three dates that i have tried to go on they have all not shown up. That's crazy. 
That's insane, dude. Three dates in a row, and you struck out every single... None of them showed up at all? That is insane to me. I've never even had that happen to me. I actually have never been flaked on in my entire life. I'm not even bragging about this. Never in my life. And I've, I've met up with a lot of people. I've hit up these girls, and I go, let's do something on this date. And they go, okay. I've had before where the girl go, hey, I can't do it tonight, or I can't do it tomorrow. Can we do this on another day? Or a girl go, never mind, I want to do this. But I've never went to the occasion and then had that person not show up. That's crazy to me, dude. And think about this, right? She's not even bad looking. I can't believe she's better looking than me, in my opinion, and it's still happening to her. Crazy. I think it's something else going on, dude. Oftentimes, I see that even though they'll be going, oh, I'm fat. It's it's a problem that I'm fat and guys don't want to date me because I'm fat. There's always something more to it than that. Because like even having that mentality of, oh, guys don't want to date me because I'm fat and guys are really superficial and this and that. That right there is such an incel thing to say that I think that the, the what's behind it, the words that are emanating out of you are more of a problem than you being obese. I'm just going to keep it a solid buck. Too many times I hear these incel, femcel words, dude. That was a really like hard thing for me to get over. Yeah, yeah. And like have faith that the person will actually show up crazy but yeah as far as the date goes um i had a lot of fun it was very like pleasantly surprising did you guys have sex um it just feels really good to have a good first date um because dating men is not for the weak why dating men what, what does that have to do with anything? I've heard horror stories from women dating women. <laughs> and then I haven't heard, I have not heard dating, I've not heard horror stories from men dating men. Usually men are like really forward and they'll just hit you up and go, hey bro, listen man. I just gotta tell you, I just gotta keep it a buck with you, dude. I, I just really need to suck dick. I need to just swallow some big genitalia in my mouth right now. And I saw your profile picture. You look good. I think, I know you have big meat. Please. Fill my mouth up right now. I need that shit. I'll swallow whatever you want. I don't care. Big loads, small loads, whatever, dude. Drink coffee beforehand. I don't care what the flavor is. I don't care how seasoned your semen is. I'm swallowing that beautiful man meat you have swinging between your legs. I love it. That's oftentimes men. Like, guys are really, really forward, and they just hit you up with some sexual shit. So I haven't heard that. I've heard horror stories of women, like lesbians dating. Um, I don't know if... A horror story would be like, or like if you're saying it's not for the faint of heart to date men and your bad experiences are he didn't show up. That sounds pretty, I mean, it's not good, but it's also, I wouldn't attribute that to men. You know, women don't show up either, right? It's pretty, a lot too. Women don't show up. Like I met a lot of guys that told me that they, they go on dates and women don't show up. Women are flaky too. Women are flaky. Because dating men is not for the weak. Just casually so. shitting on men. I have no idea if we're going to see each other again. You never know. That's not good. You should, like, after the date, you should have, like, a pretty good understanding of what's going to happen. You should be able to understand or at least discern some things. Like, hey, are we going to do this again? Like, you should be asking these questions. And obviously, the person can lie. But you should at least have some kind of, like, oh, yeah, it was good. So, it's probably going to happen again. Right? No, I guess not. He's probably not. If you're having that type of question, then he didn't want to do anything with you. No, he, he ain't fucking with it. Anyway. We're going to end the video here. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. And uh, I have memberships now. So if you want to do any of that stuff, it helps me grow in the algorithm. If you don't want to be a member of the channel, you don't have to. I would never say anybody to do any of that stuff. Any type of support you guys give me is amazing. I love everybody here so much, dude. And I hate... I have to make these videos so much later in the day now because, like, dude, these these dudes downstairs, man, they've been... Dude, I wake up, okay, at, like, 7 in the morning, and these, these dudes downstairs are banging. They're destroying walls. They're just demolishing everything. I don't usually wake up at 7 a.m. I don't. But I have to wake up at 7 a.m. because these dudes are so fucking loud, and they're destroying the whole... And what am I going to say? Like, well, you guys can't work downstairs. Like, obviously, I can't fucking say that. But they're down there all day, and I hear their Mexican music, and I know it's it's like that fucking... That reggaeton shit. You know what I'm talking about? Boom, ba doom ba boom ba doom ba boom ba doom ba And it's the same shit over and over and over and over again. Why don't you have different music? What is going on with that, dude? I, I mean, maybe I can't make a, you know, what is Linkin Park, right? Linkin Park's the same shit over and over and over again, and I still love that. But regardless, and I like romantic comedy, so what the fuck am I talking about? But 
regardless, um, dude, I've been going through it, dude. Okay, I've been having a mental health crisis. No, I'm playing with you. You such, you're a beautiful person. If you watch the video in its entirety and you listen to me ramble and rant about the Mexican guys blowing and just like destroying stuff up downstairs, leave it down below because I know you're here right now and type in Mexican because that's what the people are downstairs. I don't claim, oh, listen, maybe they're not Mexican. I don't know. They might not be Mexican, but they were like here in my hallway replacing my light and there were four of them replacing my light and I was like, oh, I need to go downstairs and this dude did not understand me and I was like, oh, I need to go downstairs and he was like, oh, okay, I moved this for you and I was like, okay, um, I don't know why these dudes are all Mexican. I have no idea. Like, is there a premium? Is there like a premium on white guys or black guys? Like, how does that work exactly? I have no idea. Anyway. Mexican. I, I, I think Mexican people are cool, by the way. I have like two Mexican friends. Anyway, and you know what's funny though? One of my Mexican friends is named David. David. Yeah, that's right. He's David. That's right, dude. So it's like a fusion between me and him. Or we're like the same person, I guess, but not really. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. You beautiful, amazing, spectacular, awesome, well lubricated person. I was looking at you the other night. You know that? Like the other night, I was looking through your window, consensually, of course. And I, I asked your window for permission is what I meant. And I looked at you and I thought, oh my God, look at that outrageously amazing. I just have to close my eyes just to really get that. In. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Oh, oh, you look good. Oh my God, you look so delicious. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Anyway, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. And my second channel is also listed down there too, which is like stream clips. Discord is linked. Um, you can check out my Instagram, my Twitter. They're linked down below too. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.